I came across uh, the the band um, with the algorithm on uh, on freaking freaking YouTube. I was just listening to YouTube, and the algorithm brought me to them, and I was like, hold hold on, hold on, hold on, who is this? First, I thought it was just one guy, you know, but it wasn't complete band, so freaking awesome. Hmm. So, what's up, everybody? Mercy, minus Tankbuster. Uh, see, I got a whole bunch of uh, hosts there. Appreciate that, guys. Um, live cooking episode twenty-two. Vegetarian quiche with uh, leek, bell pepper, onions, tomatoes. I'm gonna make the better out of uh, eggs and mascarpone. And we're also gonna add some pecorino cheese. Let's cook something delicious. Yes, sir. So I got the leek over here, um, some cherry tomatoes, red onion, bell pepper. The sweet bell pepper. Uh, of course, uh, you need eggs for a quiche. Thank God we got chickens at the chicken farm. So I got some mascarpone over here, some cream, the pecorino, lovely, lovely pecorino cheese, and also got some peas. I'm gonna put in some garden peas. Uh, of course, we need the pastry. Got the pastry right here. Pepper, salt, and some olive oil, and that's it. Want to play? Um, well, minus as you can see, I'm not playing at the moment. <laughs> Wheat hunter, how are you, man? Appreciate the host you dropped earlier. Um, we need some other stuff too besides the ingredients. Um, I got my machine. If you don't have it, you can just mix up the batter with your hand. Um, hold on, why is it not working? There go. Of course, we need a baking form. Got it right here. You need a rasp to rasp the pecorino. And uh, got some balls. Not balls, balls. <laughs> Cutting board, of course. <laughs> Memphis Redneck, appreciate that. Appreciate that host, Memphis. Uh, doing fine. I'm doing also good, man. Um, kind of dark outside, so I had to bring a lot of light in, Wheat Hunter. I got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, three spotlights right now. Otherwise, it would be very, very dark in my kitchen. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a dark day. I guess it's a dark day at you, too. You're so happy right now. What's up, Mercy? Why are you happy? Did you see my video on Instagram? And I need some baking paper too. Put in the form. Baking paper. Some will be back soon. Let's hope so. Man, I feel kind of sorry for all the restaurant owners. Because they had to close their restaurant for the last couple of months. But this whole time it was beautiful weather. And now they finally can open their their <laughs> their restaurants again. This weather comes along. Poor guys. I feel sorry. I think the the restaurant sector is hit the most of all sectors. Poor guys. Uh, just leveled up the P90 Night Fighter in just two hours, so now I got the special. Oh, it's good. Nice. Got to try it. What's up, Peter? Welcome. Thanks for tuning in here. I got the. Pastry, still a little bit frozen, so I'm gonna fade them out. Oh shit, I hope it's enough. Hold on, I think I got one more somewhere. Yes, 
so I want five of them. Never can I, never can I have, have not enough pastry. Let's go. Uh, fetchy quiche, yes. A quick quiche. Uh, explanation mark menu. There you go. How are you, Miss A, Peter? Uh, Mercy watched the Instagram clip like ten times. <laughs> yeah, you're starring in that video, Mercy. You showed uh, you showed the the way of uh, the bayonet in that one. You showed you showed us all how to play bayonet Friday. Mm. Yes, this is actually um, like hartige, for a hartige taart. So it's kind of slightly different than regular puff pastry. Less butter. Uh, okay, I gotta wait until the puff pastry unfreezes, or how do you say it? Warms up. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna cut the veggies. What's up, Cop God? Appreciate Sparks. So this this is uh, actually pretty fast and easy dish. Gonna save this uh, the top of the leek for bouillon or something. Don't throw it away; it's a waste. Um, all fine over here too, Peter. It's kind of a shame shit different day story. Kind of like that, you know. But we'll, we'll, we're getting through. Stuff are slightly getting back to normal, as you know. So I hope that, that uh, I can work soon again. It's kind of getting bored. At least I can focus a lot on my streams now because of it. But it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> puff puff pass. <laughs> uh, I used to do that, Peter, but not anymore. I'm past that. Uh, I'm past that age now. I think. Well, it's not like restricted to age, of course. But you know, getting more responsible each year. I get older, so so I'm cutting up the leak. Still got to wash it too. This one is a little bit, uh, there's still some dirt in it. Chief Ten Cool coming in with the host. Appreciate that, Chief. The beauty and the brains coming in. With a hot host. Uh, apart from that, Peter, like with the streaming, I don't know, it's, uh, it's like wearing a rocket or something on my back. It goes really <laughs> fast nowadays. Yesterday I had a really good day, considering streaming, had a lot of new followers, I even peaked like new numbers when it comes to viewers, I think at one point I had 38, that's really high for me. Frack Frack, appreciate that. Yes, I'm also a quiche, Mercy, if I understand that French well. <laughs> Frack Frack, appreciate the outer host. Thank you so much, guys. Really, really much appreciated, all the hosts. Quickly wash this leak. I started off with the leak so it can, like, the water can drizzle out. You don't want too much water inside the quiche. Alright, continue with the rest of the veggies. So let's see, what else did I got? Oh yeah, I got the bell pepper. Peter, appreciate that. Thank you for the host. So much love already, it just started. Um, I'm hoping that uh, the stream won't connect, uh, disconnect this time. Because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of been an issue. I've seen it with others too that uh, broadcast in full, uh, full screen modus. It's got kind of like a weird habit of uh, disconnecting. The stream if you're broadcasting in full full screen so let's hope that won't happen today i don't know is tankbuster still here maybe tankbuster can give some shouties to the lovely people to peter and chief i don't know if tank was here earlier so i don't know if he's still here 
uh, especially Mr. Peter Gaming over here. He does like gaming streams, but he and his wife every Sunday. And trust me, it's one of the best things you can see on Mixer. Thank you, Tank. Together, they do uh, cooking streams as well. That's kind of how we met. I think it was just Ash now, a streamer who tipped me on Peter and Miss A. She was like, oh, if you like cooking streams, you should check them out. That's how I ended up with uh, Peter and Miss A. And can't be there every Sunday. Sometimes I got to do stuff, but I always try to be there. And uh, back in the days, we had a program on uh, on the Dutch television called uh, Man by het Hond. And it, that program had like a certain vibe. They were just like visiting regular people in their home. And it had like a certain vibe to it. And I always say like, when you head on to Peter and Mrs. A stream on Sunday, you kind of get the same vibe, like household vibe. Like you're there in their living room. It's really chill. Miss A does the cooking. Peter, he films it, provides the chat with uh, commentary. It's really, really, really nice to see. And he's a partner streamer too. Let's go. So I'm cutting up the veggies. I'm gonna put this all inside the quiche. So I got the bell pepper. Nothing chefy, exactly, exactly. Thank you, uh, Tank, for all the shouties. Yeah, well, it's on. It's pure honesty, uh, Peter. I mean, your guys always killing it on Sunday. I must uh, admit that uh, I got to be there more when you do your regular gaming streams, because I know you recently got back to that. And but yeah, you can count on me uh, almost every Sunday, unless I uh, gotta do something. I even convinced my girlfriend now, she's also watching every week. Usually when your guys are, you guys are busy with the stream, me and my girlfriend, we are eating ourselves, so that's kind of what we do. We have our dinner while we watch Peter and Mrs. A. It's kind of... Like watching your favorite show that's on TV every week. Only now you're watching on, on Mixer, you know? I highly recommend it to everybody. If I talk about you guys, I always say, oh, you should really check that out if you like foodie streams. So I got the onions, bell peppers. There we go. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the garden piece. Not too much. Uh, yes, th th these are the those really sweet ones, you know, the, the pointy ones. They're really, really delicious. They were uh, on discount at the supermarket, so like, eh. Because I didn't want to put them in in the first place but then I saw them and I'm like oh I'm gonna bring that with me uh, we should play some battlefield 5 sometimes I missed that game whoa like uh, the day before yesterday Peter they released their like final major update and I gotta tell you man it's it's freaking awesome finally they they put in uh, Americans versus Germans now they even changed uh, a lot of maps that used to be Germans versus British forces. They changed that to uh, <laughs> to Americans versus Germans. It does give you more of that World War II vibe than, than you're used to with Battlefield. Nathan Smith, appreciate the follow, man. Welcome to the chicken farm. You're one of the chickens now. Uh, how do you call the pointy ones? I don't in English. I don't know. It's I think it's uh, I, d I think it's sweet bell pepper maybe. I think they should have a special name. Love from Brazil. What's up, Nathan? I think you're my first 
Yeah, I know it for sure, by the way. You're my first follower from Brazil. Appreciate that, man. Love it. Yeah, we're stacking up the people all around up the world at the chicken farm. Love it. I got some lovely cherry tomatoes over here. I'm gonna cut them uh, in half. Not all of them, because the other ones, once I've filled the quiche and I put in the batter, I'm also gonna cut some in half and put them on top. So if you see the quiche, you see them on top. Give a little color to your uh, quiche, you know. Oh yeah, that's right, Mercy. Um, I don't know if you played Battlefield 1, Peter, but um, one of the maps they added uh, the day before yesterday well, it was already there in the game, but they they only had like certain game modes for that map. But they kind of changed it and made made it for the bigger game modes too. And um, that map has a really high Battlefield One vibe to it, as like Mercy tells you right now. It's really awesome. So as you can see, I got a nice filling over here. Burnt kitty. Appreciate that host. Mercy, you too, man. Appreciate that, guys. Love is real today. Well, it's always real. Every day. I do appreciate it a lot, guys. Watching me cook. All kinds of delicious things. So, let's see how the pastry is. Uh, defrosting. Oh, that's quite well now. Okay. So, I'm gonna put this aside. How's the lightning, guys? It's so dark outside. I am, I'm, I'm using three spotlights right now. <laughs> it's the XX. Oh, mm, well, it's a little bit different, I believe, uh, Mercy. Slightly different. So, I'm gonna put in the puff pastry. And I'm kind of like crossing them over each other because they're squares, but my spring form is round. So I'm kind of overlapping the, the pastry. So the middle there, you got like sort of two layers. So you got extra strong bottom. So then in order, if you like take it out after it's done, like the weight of the batter and the ingredients don't make the bottom crush and <laughs> your quiche will be right on the floor you know so i actually need one more but i got one more one more puff pastry You compared them, damn Mercy, you're like, <laughs> you're like a, a battlefield detective. So this one's still frozen because I just took it out of the fridge. So we got to wait a little sec. <coughs> um, I can start making the batter in the meantime. So I got my machine over here, as you can see. I got two, uh, I need two pieces for this. First of the balloon to uh, mix up the eggs. I got the balloon. After that, when I am going to add the mascarpone and the flour, I'm going to use the K, uh, K piece. This is the this is the K piece over here. This is more for making dough and stuff like that. But first, we're gonna mix up the eggs. If you
if you like if you enjoy cooking and you do it a lot and you like to make pies or whatever um, it's it's expensive machine it's expensive device but if like I said if you if you cook a lot it's worth the investment <laughs> don't get your eggs mixed up I'll, I'll 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 do it carefully Peter I'll do it carefully so I got four eggs for this one Hold on. one two three four Oh, look at that, Jamona can count. We didn't know Jamona was this smart. Sir Kukulat, what, you're talking about yourself or about me, uh, Peter? Because I know you don't cook, hardly. Um, I'm going to mix it at high speed. Oh yes, every day man, especially now now I'm at home. Hold on. I think I I just had Nathan in here following, but I think I missed somebody. Did I miss somebody? Let's see. Uh -oh. That might have been uh an offline follow then. I don't see it. Well, that's why I'm here, Peter, to teach you. I'm here to teach you. Pump up the volume a little bit. So tomorrow, Peter, you'll be doing another uh, cooking stream with Miss A at 6, 6, 6 p.m. European time, Central European time. I guess we won't know what they'll be cooking. They always keep it secret until uh, right before the start. I'll be there, Peter. I'll be there. So is uh, Miss Jem, of course. Okay, that's quite enough. So I preheated the oven at 200 Celsius. That's roughly about 400 Fahrenheit. Yeah, 400. How's this pastry? That's good. So I'm gonna cut it in half. It's like a puzzle a little bit. All right. Let's like squeeze it together, all the the slices of pastry. Of course you can make your own pastry. I just didn't feel like it today. Because I want it to be nice and quick, you know. So it's a little bit too much filling right now. So I'm gonna take some out. I'll use that tomorrow for a different dish, maybe now we're tomorrow we're gonna eat, eat uh, chicken satay. Maybe bake this to have it like a side dish. Otherwise, it's it's just too much to put in the pie right now. So I'm gonna put the rest in the fridge. Save it to tomorrow. Um, this one is vegetarian, but you know you can always add meat to it. Like uh, I don't know, bacon maybe. Leek and bacon are a great combination. 
So, yeah, you can kind of give it your own twist. I'm making the veggie style quiche. Or maybe some uh, Parma ham. Or uh, Serrano. You can go all ways. That's what I like about quiches, you know. You can basically go in every direction you desire. So I got the eggs mixed up. I'm going to add some pepper. I got some lovely sea salt over here. No, it's not cocaine, guys. It's sea salt. I prefer sea salt over regular table salt. So I'm just going to add a little pinch to it. Not too much. It's quite intense. And I got some cooking cream. Don't use milk. It's too too liquid, so that will mess up your quiche. Use a thicker styled cream. This is, let's see, 250 milliliters. I'm gonna add that all to it. There you go. Damn, Mercy, that's a long message, hold on. I've got an idea for one thing we could do when we do the community game Sunday, someday next week or so. We could have two jeeps that drive towards each other and in the back the guys have a lunch my... Oh, kind of like the, the knights that did back in the medieval, uh, medieval uh, era. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, we, we can brainstorm the, the whole week, Mercy. Let's do it next Saturday. We can brainstorm all week, and then we have enough time to tell uh, tell the um, chicken farm community about what we're gonna do, so everybody knows. Like, oh, we must join them on Saturday. But it sounds like a good plan. I don't know if that will actually work. I'm thinking of if one of the maps has like a, a road with a barrier between each lane so you understand what I'm trying to say you got like a barrier between the lanes so you can easily like aim your vehicle towards the right direction um, so I got the cream in here I got the eggs I got some pepper and salt um, I'm gonna oh I'm gonna add half of the mascarpone Ooh. Let's see, this is uh, 250, so that's uh, 125 grams of mascarpone. Yes, yes, I'm doing a lot of cheese inside the quiche. I got the mascarpone and I got the pecorino right here, which I'll rasp after this. We need the cheese, man. So, I'm gonna mix it up. Oh, hold on, I forgot an important ingredient, the flour. Uh, where's my weighing scale? Oh, I got it. Hold on. Gonna clean up over here real fast. Cheese, quiche, quiche. <laughs> yes, I, I, I think Dutch people can all agree, Peter. We love our cheese. We freaking love our cheese. So I'm actually gonna take away this stuff over here. I don't be needing that anymore. There you go. Uh, weighing scale. I'm gonna. Add 100 grams of regular flour. Don't add too much flour. Get all dry. It's just to hold everything together. It's 
it's so freaking hot in here. Yeah, the uh, regular flower, uh, uh, Mercy, that's right. Don't use self rising flower or whatever. So, low speed. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up the stuff I just used. I don't need it anymore. There you go. Your English is good enough, Mercy. I understand. Um. I got a new pannenlikker. I don't know the Dutch word, uh, the English word for that. Maybe Peter knows. Pannenlikker. Panlikker. <laughs> Peter doesn't know either. <laughs> I hoped you knew. Maybe Miss A probably knows. Oh no 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 not 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 like flower as in a colorful flower or anything. No mercy no 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 I'm gonna have to help the vice a little bit with the pan liquor <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Mercy, we got the video that showed it on Instagram now. You demonstrated Bayonet Friday pretty well. Uh, it's a sort of silicone spatula. It helps you can clean the dough out of the pan. Ah, sounds right. So, as mentioned, I got the lovely pecorino over here. It's nice salty cheese. Let's have a slice and taste it. Mm. Oh yes. Delicious. Mm. So more a little bit more expensive type of cheese, but totally worth it. What's up, Abba? Mr. Minion. Google Translate doesn't know the, wor the right word. God damn it, Google! Why you do this? So let's rasp the pecorino. How are you doing, Minion? Welcome to uh, Live Cooking episode 22. We're making a vegetarian quiche over here. It's all wobbly. I'm just gonna use the whole goddamn cheese, guys. You can never overkill cheese, unless it's like Roquefort or Gorgonzola. <laughs> That's what she said. 
Jamona cooking quiche and everything that you can cook in the world while I just burn myself while putting the fridge pizza. Well, I happen to know one brand, Mercy, of frozen pizzas, pre-made pizzas. Like 99% of those pizzas are like real shit, you know? It says like, oh, uh, pizza with uh, pepperoni or, and uh, I don't know, cheese or whatever. And then you take out the pizza and there are only like two slices of pepperoni on there, you know? It's always like this with the frozen pizzas. But one brand, which I won't mention, so can't do that on stream. There's one brand I always get. Um, they got like really good frozen pizzas. So, I'm gonna put half of the pecorino inside the batter. And the other half I will rasp and we'll top it, we'll top the quiche with that after the quiche is done. So, in goes the pecorino. It's nice and salty. That's why I didn't add too much salt to the batter. Because you're also adding the pecorino, which is also really salty. And you don't want to, like, when you take a slice of the quiche, you won't want to get thirsty that much, you know? It's not nice if it's too salty. <coughs> um, I'll send you in a whisper then, uh, Mercy. That's the brand name, Mercy. And Peter, tonight, I don't know what you're doing tonight, Peter, but um, tonight I'll be playing Battlefield again. So if you're down, you can join us. I know Mercy and Tankbuster will be there. And usually uh, a whole bunch of other people also join my game. They just join the game, not like the Xbox party. That's only for the, for closer friends, you know, like you, Peter. Otherwise, it will. <laughs> there are a lot of people playing with me while they watch my stream, and if I get everybody inside the party, it just gets too crowded, you know. So feel free uh, to hang out with us. We'll we'll carry you around the battlefield if necessary, since you told us that it's been a while. So, this is for later to top the quiche. Uh, going back to my food making. Have a great stream. Thank you, Minion. What are you preparing, Minion? You gotta tell us, man. <laughs> yes, uh, Mr. Weed Hunter. Indeed, tonight. We'll be doing another battlefield stream. So this is just to to eat myself. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There you go, friend's own gif. Yeah, it's like a standard gif here at the chicken farm, Peter. Almost everybody knows about it now. Uh, last 10 years I've been at Sweden Rock Festival or nearby there on Swedish Natural Day, which is today, so it feels strange to have to plan something today, like food, so just threw this together. Got all glazed with a little salt liquor sauce, garlic bread and strips. Ooh, that sounds nice, Minion. Enjoy it, enjoy it. I would love... Love it if Dice would make a playlist with only profits and there is man, there is. 
there are already there's already a playlist like this, Mercy. You like the new map, Sweet Hunter? What do you think about the guns, Sweet Hunter? I'm absolutely um, a fan of the M1941 Johnson. That thing is a beast. No, I. when it came out, Mercy, I joined. Maybe they already took it out. But on the first day of the update, there was I was playing in the afternoon. And I played it on a server, which was breakthrough only. And just the new maps the whole time. So they might have taken it out. Or it was a custom server. I'm not sure. But there was a server. So. <coughs> Better is finished. Don't need to rasp anymore. Well, I'm sure too, Mercy. Yeah, but don't trust everything that's on Reddit, man. So, in goes the batter, gonna help it around a little bit, mix it with the veggies. Now I'm gonna pull down these outside of the pastry I'm gonna fold them inwards voila uh, I mean I'm looking for people that make custom rain with the ma those maps because I think a lot of people would enjoy it I guess if if it's not there, Mercy, I guess you gotta make a survey yourself then, or make like a mix with those maps and the maps, the other maps you like. I I would if I would make a server, I would just like put every map in there except for Fiel, Hamada, and um, Pacific Storm. I would take those three out. And put everything else in. Leave the re uh, leave those three out. Splash, especially Fiel. Fiel is horrible. So, as mentioned before, I'm gonna take a couple of these spare tomatoes, and I'm gonna dip them on top. So it gets a little bit more color once it's done. Once it's done, And it's just me and my girlfriend living here. And of course, this is too much for two persons. So we're going to actually eat from this uh, throughout the week, you know. So, in it goes into the oven, which I said was at 200 Celsius. 
and we're gonna bake it for around 20 minutes maybe 25 <coughs> gonna clean up real fast fail sucks indeed like the most fun match I had on fail was last night and that server was empty <laughs> but I had fun because uh, you, me, and uh, Germany Finest and his uh, goon squad were kind of messing around, you know. Committing uh, mass suicides, jumping off the cliffs together. It was fun. So the quiche is in the oven. Now, I'm just starting to realize now that I don't have quite something else prepared to do in the meantime but however I can always take a look inside my fridge and usually find something I can do in the meantime uh, oh I forgot the olive oil well no olive oil then maybe pour a little bit over the top when it's finished all right so there's that throw this away I think I know what I can make in the meantime to keep you guys entertained let's make like a little uh, I don't know, like a little pie or something. Let's see. Because I know I got some spare apricots over here. Yes. Lovely, lovely apricots. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, this one is a little bit old. Uh... Well, we'll be happy uh, if you start playing Battlefield again, uh, Wheat Hunter. I mean, I uh, since the last update, I've been telling people that were kind of they they kind of stopped playing Battlefield because you know they thought it was a dead game or it was too frustrating or they had to shoot people too many times before they die, stuff like that. You know, I've been telling those people. Uh, recently since the last update that you might might not still like it but it's it's at least now it's worth checking out again you know because they they especially like i mentioned the gun um the m94 one uh 1941 johnson that's like two body shots and they're dead and same with the with the headshots so it doesn't feel like you have to shoot somebody like eight or nine times before they die you know with most with, which you have with most guns so <coughs> I'm gonna make uh, me and my girlfriend a little dessert I just came up with this just now I thought like let's let's do something in the meantime while we baked uh, the quiche I got so much puff pastry in my fridge, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, Soviets would to be would be too hard for them and too much work, but they but can't they bring out like one map every three maps? Because if they don't release anything, Battlefield will be so hard. Mm, I wouldn't count on it, Mercy. <coughs> I don't think they'll actually start doing stuff I don't know how that works you know add like a, a completely new faction to the game <laughs> yeah that's true I, 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 I see the same player names on a regular basis what's up Kerm? Uh, Yes, we always play Breakthrough uh, Wheat Hunter. Play Black Ops 4, 
two months ago and it was so weird cock feels like a child toy compared yeah i always say call of duty is for children battlefield is for men and that's the difference played last thursday a couple of hours oh when the new uh, update uh, was there uh, with hunter Suddenly Battlefield isn't the game that gets new content all the time. Yeah, unfortunately. Kerm Cobain. How you doing? What's up, Peter? Why why the the, the surprised face? The, because I said that thing about uh, about Battlefield and Call of Duty. It's true. Peter. They made that game so young people can play it too. That's how they made the game. Battlefield is not like that. I didn't mean to offend you, Peter. But it's facts. I mean, join a, join a random Call of Duty stream and first thing you'll see is a fucking pink weapon. Come on, man. Come on. Pink? Are you kidding me? Pink guns? So I'm making, I'm gonna make like little apricot pies in the meantime. Just to do something with the time we have. So I'm Doing a little bit of butter in form, so I can easily take out the the pie when it's done. Minus, what's up? Um, they have weep and my emblem, emblems and calling cards. Yes, Skirm, thank you, thank you for backing me up there. <laughs> they also had a well they also got a focus on the older people wheat hunter it's not i'm not saying that it's only made for children but the way they designed it it's clearly that they also trying to reach out to the young people so that's why i'm telling it and battlefield doesn't have something like this you know but not just the cosmetics i mean um it got like, I, at least what I, from what I can tell when I played it, they got like a certain gameplay system where people, where players that are less good, you know, they they are kind of getting advantage out of some some of the hit detections and the hitbox in the game, you know. That's where you end up like screaming at your game and your Xbox and. How the hell? I shot him so many times. How can't he be dead? And and he just turns around. That's the way they designed it, man. I know FIFA, not maybe not this FIFA, but like a, a, one of the older FIFAs also had like a system like this. In the first half, you would score four goals, and the opposite player is nowhere to be found. Does didn't have one shot at the goal, and then you go into the second half, and all of a sudden it looks like. The player you're playing against is somebody else and suddenly became a really good player or whatever, you know. And they kind of applied this to Call of Duty 2 in my opinion.
Can you guys hear me again? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I had to open the back door because it's so hot in here. Look, this is my... I got my bar over here. My father made this for me. He made him. He made it himself. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the feedback. Yeah, sometimes, because I'm using my my headset, you know, sometimes a little bit too far away from the from my Xbox, so sometimes it kind of disconnects. Uh, Call of Duty is the only fan get scan and will play today because they can't handle a better game. Hands for that. Yes. <laughs> like, if you're a really good player in Call of Duty and you're playing a team based game mode, you can easily carry your team to victory. If you're a really good player in Battlefield, but your team is shit, you will never, never reach victory just by by your skills you need your team to work together and that's i that's why i like battlefield more you know i'm waiting for this pastry to uh defrost so i can continue i'm using a different laptop which has a shorter cable so my I got my laptop on a different spot right now. It's a little bit further away than where I used to have it, so I gotta step back every now and then to read chat. In the end we can all say Fortnite is the best game, yes. Why do you do the explanation mark in front of Fortnite? I took already took away that trigger mercy. I took away almost all my triggers, by the way. All right. I'm just gonna cut up these apricots. In the meantime, close my back door again. I needed some fresh air, it was so hot inside my kitchen. <coughs> okay, so the quiche is in the oven and in the meantime we're just going to make a little dessert over here. like half slices like moon shaped slices Quick look at the quiche. It's getting along nicely. Uh, I need a bowl. Let's see, what else can I add to this? I need sugar. 
because I think these are a little bit sour. Hmm. Well, they're actually, hmm. no, they're pretty sweet. So don't need a lot of sugar for them. Oh, this is brown sugar. I don't need brown sugar. I need regular sugar. Two and a half teaspoons. And let's add some honey. I'm honey. Honey, honey, honey. One. Two. This is this is purely improvising, guys. Cause usually I, I do stuff to fill up the time while I bake stuff, but I kind of forgot about that today. So I'm like, oh shit, I what I'm gonna do in the meantime while we bake this veggie quiche. So I start looking in my fridge, I'm like, okay, let's just make a nice little easy pie for later as sort of a dessert. Fill up the time, keep you guys entertained. Let's see, what else do I got? Um, maybe some orange blossom water. What's up, E Wizard? It's like flower extract, so it's really citrusy like. Don't use too much. It's quite expensive too, so I don't want to. Uh, use too much of that. I I always use it to make like pastry stuff, delights like baklava or something. Or when I made, make stewed pears, I use it. It's really not, got a really nice flavor. They use it a lot in the Arabic kitchen. How are you doing, E-Wizard? So the pastry has defrosted enough. Uh, doing well, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Keep miss. Well, it's all right. He wish it. No worries. No worries. Your auto host is always there, so that's that's also very much appreciated. Don't worry about it. I think we're on different time zones. Uh, time zones too, so can't really blame you. You're really probably re uh, most of the times either asleep or at work or at school. I don't know what you do in daily life. So I'm going to put in the apricots. Mm. Lovely. Squeeze them. Hmm. I think I can make two more. If I have pastry left, I think I got two more left. You're here right now, wizard. You're here right now. That's all that matters. <coughs> it's noon over here. Okay, it's over here. It's uh, just past 6 p.m. Just past 6 p.m. I'm gonna grab a glass of homemade lemonade because I'm thirsty as fuck. <coughs> I always make my own lemonades at home instead of buying the sugar rich uh, 
so does. Just just boil some water with a little bit of sugar. Add some fruit to it, like orange or lemon. And there you go. Put it in the fridge and you got uh, yourself a nice lemonade. I'm going to close up the pastry. There you go. Um, let's see, let's make one more. Got some apricots left. I'll just <coughs> put this one quickly in the oven so it will defrost quicker. Where's my butter? Oh, here it is. Repeating the process over here. So how's your weekend been going? Uh, any plans for the weekend, wizard? Maybe chill at the park or something like that. Any plans? Uh, where did I put my towel? Here, towel, 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 towel. Just gonna use kitchen paper to clean my hands. Chippy, what's up? Appreciate the sparks. Let's go. Alright. Oh, that went fast. Let's go. How are you doing, Chippy? Uh just games for the most part. Light baking tomorrow some for some bread. Ooh. Nice. You you make your own bread? That's awesome. Always when I try that I always fuck up. <laughs> it's always too dry or whatever. So Zippy, since you just tuned in, I'll give you uh an update. We made a quiche, which is in the oven right now. Um, and to fill up the time, uh, right now I'm making like little apricot pies. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. And the quiche, we made that with mascarpone and pecorino cheese and some garden peas and bell pepper and leek. Brei. Um, cherry tomatoes it's, it's getting baked in the oven right now as we speak so I'm saving three of the apricots so I can put them on on top as a decoration frack frack appreciate the host my main man fracture There you go. Uh, if you want, if you want, let's go if you want. Oh, no worries about that, uh, wizard. You, I don't mind. I mean, especially when it considers uh, food, you know. Just, uh, just share the us the link uh, in uh, in chat, man. We'll be happy to check it out because most people who are here now they are here because they enjoy like cooking and making stuff so more more information the merrier you know so don't uh 
I appreciate it, but yeah, you don't have to worry about that here, man. I'm quite, I'm quite uh, easy when it considers that. I understand why you might say that, because I know like lots of streamers actually don't like it. But I'm, I'm more of a easygoing guy, you know. I don't really care about it. I'm gonna use some uh, Eculo. So if you wanna share the the Discord link with me. You can whisper that too. Um, I'll be happy to check it out, man. I must admit that I hardly ever, ever use recipes. Like all my recipes are inside my head. I also do this for a living, you know. Zippy just likes to eat. <laughs> He watched to he he likes uh, uh, to watch the streams and to cook, but it's not that Sippy is actually gonna use the knowledge to make it himself or whatever. So I'm gonna top this with a little bit of egg yellow, so it gets a nice color, you know. I'm out of eggs, so I need more eggs. I also do the same with the Discord uh, wizard, only I must say I kind of... Yeah, I'm, I'm not, that, not that active anymore <laughs> with it. Kind of letting people down. I still have to add like the recipes from the last, I don't know, four or five cooking streams. I still need to do that. You baked cookie once. Well, good for you, Sippy. We're so proud of you, Sippy. See? What kind of cookies did you make? Uh... Nice, thank you. Hold on. I'm gonna check it out right away. How must people call you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I already got an account. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. I got a new laptop, so uh, all the passwords and thingies. I, s I have to redo it. Because it's not there in my saved history. I'm not a robot, no. What's this? Oh shit. What? What are you? Hold on, let me get my other laptop. I'll do it. I'll just do it with the other one. This ain't gonna work. Just gonna do it like this. Give me a sec, wizard. God damn it, this one is so fast compared to the other one. Oh, of course it doesn't show. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Invite. Accept invitation. Yes, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Let's go. I'm here. Alright, fixed it. Oh, don't worry about it, wizard. Don't worry about it. Like I said, I'm... I'm, I'm not... I'm not that... Uh, not that harsh with that, you know. I'm quite an easy guy. Especially when it considers uh, foodies and food talk. Um, let's take a look at the quiche. I, th 
think it needs uh, about 10 more minutes, something like that. Oh, wrong side of the icing sugar. So I'm going to put these in too. You all about the bread? Nice. What's, what's your favorite type of bread? If you had to choose. A bad, bad doctor. Appreciate that host. A bad doctor coming in with the host. Um, I'm going to take out the quiche for a sec. It's not finished yet, but this is the point where I'll top it with uh, the rest of the pecorino. Um, oh, I need something to grab it with. Ah, got it. Oh, here it is. Focaccia bread. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's lovely indeed. Irish soda bread. I had never eaten that in my life. I don't think I actually heard about it too. Soda bread. So it's still wobbly, but that's because it's not finished yet. So e wizard, we filled this quiche with uh, with some leek and uh, cherry tomatoes. And red onions and bell pepper, and we made the batter with um, mascarpone and cream, eggs, of course, and uh, the pecorino. And I still have some of the pecorino over here, which I'm gonna top now. So you get this nice uh, gratin, gratin, up, up top of the quiche. I don't know the English word for it. Gratin. Then we're gonna put it back in the oven. Mm, lovely. Uh, food time is here, Jamona. Have a great stream and enjoy the food. Thanks, Peter. Say hi to Miss A for me. And enjoy the food. I don't know what you're eating, but I'll sure uh, I'm sure that Miss A uh, made something nice. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Peter. Give one more shouty for Peter. He and his missus, they also do cooking streams. They're amazing. They're very kind people. Peter's partner streamer too. They definitely were checking out tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Europe time. One of my favorite shows on Mr. Doi doi. Oh, hold on. I got that too. Doi doi. Doi doi. <laughs> bye bye, Peter. Enjoy the munchies. Let's go. Alright, let's put it back in the oven. Alright, and now we have to wait. I already did something else during uh, the bake time. So, there's nothing left to do now. Um, maybe I can make a little bit more of the lemonade. Because I was, I'm out of a lemonade near you. So I'm gonna put on the dishwasher because it's almost full. Uh, and you're actually gonna see my face, wizard. Because I'm gonna sit down for a little. Take away the mixer over here. Which is really heavy. Oh, dang. Heavy, heavy. There you go. See, it's almost empty. You did the wrong gif? Oh, no. Oh, you see my face before. Oh, okay. 
and then your laptop screen went broken because of the ugliness. So I'm gonna boil some sugar water. So I want a little bit of sweetness inside my lemonade. Just a little. Like maybe 30 grams of sugar on this whole jar. So of course if you like it sweeter then just add more. Not to fan all that much for sugars. I'm gonna put it on the big fire. Take out the last of this remaining lemonade. This thing is made out of glass, so if you put it in the fridge, fridge, it gets extra cold, you know? Just love it. Take out the remaining, the old lemons. What's up, Tiny? What we're cooking? Um, right now, uh, in the oven is uh, a quiche. A vegetarian quiche with uh, mascarpone, pecorino cheese, leek, cherry tomatoes, red onions. And while we were baking, we also made little apricot pies, which are also in the oven. And the quiche is nearly done. And my lemonade was uh, empty. So I'm quickly making some new lemonade over here. And then uh, it's uh, a waiting game for a couple of minutes. How are you, Tiny? So, this is just regular water. Uh, only when I catch my own reflection. <laughs> uh, how long you have? You mean right now or in my life or on stream? What? What? Like right now? Um, I've been cooking for one hour thirty-two minutes. Um, I've been cooking since I was a kid, and I did it. Professionally for, I do it professionally for, ooh, let's see, one, three, three, nearly 14 years. Oh, congratulations, Tiny. Congratulations. Baby, so in nine months, we have a tiny junior, a real tiny one, tiny, tiny. Congratulations, man. In my life, I've been cooking uh, almost my whole life. I always was interested when my mother was cooking. <coughs> and doing it professionally for work for nearly 13 or 14 years, something like that. <laughs> First cooking story. Um, wow. Uh, Let's see. Must have been at school when I was still in elementary school. Like once a year uh, at the school I was uh, at, that the school organized a, like sort of a barbecue, but you had to make your own. Uh, well, I don't know how it translates, but it's kind of like they were kind of like 
scones with raisins inside. You had to bake them ab above the barbecue, and that, my school did that like once a year. So I think that's the first time I actually experienced cooking myself. But that dude, that that that's so long ago, man. That's really long ago. Um, got three lemons over here. Take out the seeds. Squeeze out the juice. Oh, one of the pits slipped away there. Oh, a second one. Well, it's all right. It can't fit the little tap, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Tiny. It's great news. Little baby boy on the way. What's my favorite dish to make? Cheesecake. Cheesecake and brownie. Well, I knew the answer to that really fast. I already did them both on stream, by the way. Like the cheesecake, that's my signature dish. So that was the very first episode I did with the live cooking. Right now we're at 22? Yeah, episode 22. And as of lately, I've been making brownie a lot. And I enjoy that too. Not just to make it, but also to eat it, obviously. I also enjoy uh, making uh, soups a lot. Like uh, bell pepper soup, or carrot soup, or curry soup. Tom Kakai, I don't know if you know that. Oh, this one is really... Oh, this lemon is really... It's like a stone, man. Damn. Do you cook yourself, Tiny? Doctor, ooh yeah! What's up, Doc? How are you doing today? How are you? How's your weekend? It's Mr. Doctor, ooh yeah! Hee hee! Go. Fresh lemonade over here, just to keep you guys entertained. Uh, five months. Oh, so four more months to go. Due in October. Hmm, exciting. Is this your first one, uh, Tiny? Not much. Getting ready to hop on stream since Lightstream deleted all my overlay. What? They did what? Bastards. Why is there always... Oh my god. Wait. Doc, did they just do that, or was it because your account was deleted? So I got the sugar water. I'm gonna add that. Just a little bit too much. There you go. They did what? Dude, you must have been pissed. Uh, so I spent the last three hours last night redoing everything. Oh, and I bet you never can get it the same way the way it was. Uh, are you sure it's not another folder it happened to me one time and then realized? Oh. Yeah, because you can select three options, right? You can either... Uh, uh, 
Yeah, when you open Lightstream, you get like three folders. Didn't you select uh, the the wrong one? No, so I said fuck it. So now you're gonna make something completely different. Uh, that's tough. I had like a survey uh, yesterday when I opened Lightstream. They asked me like, um, could you please take some time and answer a question? Would you recommend Lightstream to somebody else? And then you had to grade it. So I said like, well, if you're streaming on an Xbox, then I recommend it. I would recommend it to somebody. But when considering the issues it has and stuff like that, I wouldn't uh, recommend it to no, I would so ne and it has too much issue. Audio gets unsynchronized. Right now I got a, I got new internet. I got a 350 Mbps uh, upload speed. Sometimes even it peaks 400. So you would think that, whoa, that's a lot of juice. That should be more than enough. But still, with Lightstream enabled, I still get issues like audio unsynchronized. Sometimes it just, in, in the middle of the stream, it's gone. It just disconnects and my overlays are gone. The stream is still online, but the whole thing, the whole overlay light stream just disconnects and it's gone, you know? It's the only option for Xbox. Yeah. But then you gotta have a capture card wizard. And not, not a lot of people have that. Still, I think it's it's great. It's a great service. The way to how you use it, you know? It's really great for, for people who stream on Xbox who don't have the, all the fancy expensive equipment like a good laptop or PC and a uh, capture card and stuff like that. It's really great that, that those Xbox streamers are still able to get like overlays and such, you know. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame that a lot of moments it doesn't work properly. Uh, I have a five-year-old son already. How often are you streaming your cooking streams? I try, I try to, uh, I try to do the cooking streams once a week. Right now, it's been a while since I did the last one. Mm, but yeah, I always aim for uh, one times a week, uh, tiny. And right now, I'm doing it on Saturday. But most, like eighty percent of the cooking streams are mostly on Tuesdays. And I always start around 7 p.m. my time, which is in half an hour from now. So I'm also actually a little bit early uh, today. So different day, different time. Uh, but usually I'm on Tuesday online on at 7 p.m. Central Europe time. And that's, let's see, that's uh, 1 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. So that's kind of kind of the moment I do it. Uh, if you want to see the brownie one, I recommend checking out my, I'm not like, oh, check out my YouTube. I'm not like that, you know, but now we're talking about it. If you really want to see the brownie, it's uh, like, I, I don't use YouTube to actually become a big YouTuber. It's not why I use YouTube. It's just mainly to save my cooking streams. Cause here on Mixer, your previous streams are only saved for 14 days and after that it's gone so I just download and upload them to to YouTube just to save it so it's it's always there to to have you know and I think I still have to add the recipe to my discord for it I've kind of been uh, getting behind on discord all right um, I'm gonna let this lemonade cool down before I put it back in the fridge. Actually, stir it up a little bit. Mix it. Lemonade finished. Let's see how the quiche is doing. I think it's done by now. Whoa, dude, that looks so good. Yes, it's finished. If I'm gonna give it five more minutes, the quiche. Five more minutes for the quiche. Johnny! Here's Johnny! Appreciate that host. I don't know if he's actually here. Yes! 
What's up, Johnny? Here's Johnny. Johnny and I only met this week, but I, I don't know. I speak for myself, Johnny. I already have this feeling that, that we know each other better and like we're vibing really well. Mr. Johnny, appreciate that, Sippy. Right, right. I thought it was just me, man, but okay. So the, the, the feeling is mutual. That's nice to hear. Yeah. How are things on your end, Johnny? I saw you play Madden again last night. You were playing head to uh, online head to head again. Hold on, I'm gonna sit down. Let's take a seat while we wait last five minutes. I'll take this garbage bin to put my laptop on. If the cable reaches it. Yes, barely, barely. Oh, there's my face for the first time today. Uh, motion sickness coming up. Hold on, guys. You know, Sco. Uh, the camera. Hold on. Motion sickness. Look away if you got motion sickness. Is that better? Yes, that's way better. Uh, I felt like I had a shit stream yesterday. Was why were you pissed off, Johnny? What happened? Did you play another sweaty guy at Madden? What happened? Tell me, Johnny. Tell Doctor Jam. Tell the chickens. Your news go. Appreciate that host. You can tell Doctor Jam and Doctor Zippy. Tell us. Your vibes weren't there. Hmm. Yeah. Can't be a success every time you do it, you know? I have off days too. So many hours and did get any. Oh, but don't worry about that, Johnny. I mean, I also have that I, I I do have to admit I'm I'm being blessed uh, in my opinion I'm being blessed with with so many regular viewers and those regular viewers in chat make new people like think oh oh this guy has like high active chat I should hang out here and they're likely to follow but I still get like days where I can stream for five six hours and Hardly anybody's there. Um, nobody follows. But you shouldn't be worrying about that, man. It's it's not about the numbers, you know. You should you just appreciate with what you got, and the rest will come by itself, you know. If you're gonna worry about that stuff, then you get all frustrated like you did now. But that's really not necessary. I mean, and the more you grow, the faster it goes, and you'll see eventually. You'll get that, man, what you desire, but you just got to pull yourself through that. It, for me, in the beginning, man, I, it took me forever to get through uh, 100 followers. And back then I was also getting frustrating by it. I, it. I nearly gave up, you know, but don't give up, man. I mean, I've been checking your streams now. The way you uh, interact with your chat, like you hardly skip one comment you know every comment every question in chat you answer to you know and that's still something i don't see uh, at a lot of streamers they just don't see the message or they respond in after 10 minutes they see the message you know and you you're actually doing a really great job with that you so you will get there trust me man otherwise i wouldn't be so supportive towards you man you're a cool guy and you play different kind of games just give it time, just give it time. Minion, welcome back. <laughs> Dr. Jam. <laughs> 40, well, that's good, man. That's really good. But don't, don't, because if you worry much about it, you know, then you get frustrated and then you lose, like, uh, you lose your, your enthusiastic about streaming, you know? And that's the last thing you want. You want to have those good vibes. Just let it takes time and you'll see eventually you start 
having the, those regular viewers, which in my opinion are the, is the most important thing about streaming, not the new followers. I think maybe the new followers are, are the least important. The most important is uh, that, that you have regulars that come to your stream on a regular basis. Hard. I got a couple of guys like No Mercy Fella. He hardly skips one of my streams. I bet if I would start streaming Fortnite, Mercy will still be there watching. You know, uh, just uh, same thing with Sippy. You know, and those people are like the 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 regulars. Those are the most important because they 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 bring that that vibe into your chat. Not you, well, also you, but mainly your regulars in chat. Because if somebody new joins your channel and they see the chat. And they see people talk in chat and you respond to them. They're like, okay, this guy and this community over here, it looks dope. I'm going to follow, you know, and that's kind of how it works. Don't, don't, don't sweat about numbers. Of course, you want to grow, of course. So you might say numbers should be there, but it's not the primary objective you must have, you know. I hope I, that clarifies. Neptune, what's up? Diver down, hello. What's up? What's up? What's up? Thanks for tuning in. I think I think Johnny uh, plays Skylines too, Tiny. I'm gonna take out the quiche because it's finished. Wait, what else did I miss? Mongo, MVPR, appreciate the host. Let's go. Neptune, how are you today? Oh, the quiche is ready. Let's let's bring it out, guys. So I. In the beginning, I said uh, I had to bake it for 20 minutes. Uh, right now, it's in the oven for 30 minutes, so a little bit longer. Ooh, what? Let's see how the apricot pies are. They're also nearly done. They need a little bit longer. <coughs> uh, Neptune, appreciate the host. Let's go. Uh, you missed what I said. Uh, let's see. Oh, duck. Hold on, guys. I gotta catch up with chat. Uh, dude, when you hosted me randomly yesterday, I was playing and out of nowhere and went from five to. Yeah, man. That's that's the good thing uh, about hosts, you know. They they. Th those people that that come with the host might not be there. But it does raise your numbers and it, the channel gets more attractive when people are browsing through channels and they see, oh, this guy has 15 viewers. They are more likely to click your channel than a channel that only has one viewer, you know? So that's the great thing about hosts. Let's see what else did I miss. Um, and no problem, of course, Johnny. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. The best thing that you can do is become an affiliate with a stream team, get into your follower discords. A lot of people I follow and watch their discords have a self-promote page. I went from 150 followers to, to 20 in just a month. It's all about networking. Yeah. Well, maybe not all about networking because, of course, it's nice, Doc, Doc Uya, to, to have those people follow you. But you, what you really want is that they also drop by and watch your stream instead of just following, you know. Of course, you'll raise your follower number, but you actually want those people to c come and join your stream when you're alive and hang out, you know. That's for, at least that's my opinion. That's, that's more important. But of course, it's, it's a great way to grow your channel, you know. You don't want to end up with 2,000 followers, but nobody watches your stream. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. Uh, the deliver <laughs> maybe in the future who knows first we gotta grow the channel a little bit over here hold on uh, I missed a follow who f who followed is that you da uh, diver down the chat goes so fast yes diver down sorry about that man the chat I was talking so much to Johnny Knoxville uh, appreciate the follow man welcome to the chicken farm Let's uh, get a close-up of this quiche. Um, if you suffer from motion sickness, I recommend to look wait for a little bit. Because I'm going to move the camera. Uh, 
Where's my thingy? Over here. Woo! Hot! Uh, what's inside the quiche? I got uh, I got some leek in there. Oh, wrong way. Uh, leek, bell pepper, cherry tomatoes, uh, red onions. I made the batter out of uh, mascarpone cheese, pecorino cheese. I also like topped the quiche with pecorino. Which is a really salty Italian uh, cheese, um, pepper, salt. Uh, what else did I put in there? Uh, some flour to keep it together. Uh, let's see what else. You guys are lighting up the chat. Uh, I got a feeling I miss so much messages. I really don't want to miss anything, you know. Uh, top 20 game of all time, which uh, we tend to doesn't get viewers. It's frustrating. Uh, you gotta, you gotta keep it up, Wheat Hunter. I, I was there too, man. I was there too in the beginning. It nearly made me give up streaming, you know. But you gotta get through it. Everybody experienced that in the beginning. Uh, pop, 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 pop. How do you get a bio with pics and stuff? Uh, y'all, you get just you can add f images to that bio, uh, Johnny. You can image. Uh, you have to can add images to your bio. And what I basically did, because I think you're referring to my my bio, I made uh, what I did. I just made those images myself, and then. I uploaded it to my website, the the TDI website. I got like a, some server space there where I can upload content to, and then the 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 image gets like a URL. And what you do is when you add images to your mixer bio, you add the URL of your image, and then it's there. So that's kind of you need some mate. You're not handy with that. Oh, someone's gonna do an intro video for. Oh, that sounds good. Keep pushing. It may be discouraging, but don't let it bother you. Keep going. Use it as motivation. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's nicely said, Neptune. That's nicely said. Yeah, just don't get discouraged. Everybody who starts streaming, whether it's on Mixer or on Twitch, everybody goes through this process in the beginning. That's why a lot of people give up because they're thinking, oh, I'm doing this for for so long and I still, like I said, I started in July 2019. So I'm, I'm doing this for, for 11 months now. Uh, from July till I think it was November. Like in November, I reached 100 followers. It took me so long, you know, and during this period, I was frustrated too, because I didn't get the views, I, I didn't get the followers, it was discouraging, but you just got to keep it up, and after that, the more you grow, the faster it goes, so, but don't give up, that's basically what me and Neptune are trying to say over here, I don't know how to make pictures like that, uh... Uh, so you're 40 away from 200 and you got an average of eight viewers, dude, that's really good, man. If you're that, if your, uh, your channel is that size, like 160 viewers and you still get like eight viewers, uh, on average, then, then that's really good. Those are really good numbers, man. Trust me, it might seem uh, might seem low, eight viewers, but for mixer standards, that's pretty good considering the size of your channel. So, what what do you guys think about uh, the quiche over here? I'm gonna eat that soon, by the way. Let's see how the apricot pies are growing. Ooh, so a lot of steam coming out of the oven. Oh, 
Oh shit. Let me get a little plate. You love it? Nice, thanks wizard. Fixing my apricot pies off screen right now. One of them broke open and all the sugar inside like spoiled out and now is burned. So one of them failed, but the other two are really nice. We got a pie down, we got a pie down. So, take away the quiche for a bit. Here are the apricot pie. It smells so sweet. I can also smell the the citrus uh, thing from the orange blossom, which I added to the apricots. It smells like flowers right now over here. Uh, maybe top it a little bit of icing sugar. Go. Woo! Nice! Yum, 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 yum. <coughs> uh, how much would you charge to make like four pictures? Uh, I gotta think about that, Johnny. I would love to do it for you, but I really have to think about that. Because um, I can't give give an answer to that right now I gotta think because I don't obviously I don't wanna like charge you like like where you get broke or anything for such a thing um, I don't know I gotta think about it I'll get back about uh, on that okay and maybe we can come up with something else than money I'm kind of feeling awkward if, if somebody is paying me for that especially when, when, even though we all recently met, you know, I kind of feel weird about it to, to charge you anything with that. So we'll come up with something. All right. But I, I'll, I would like to do that for you. Yeah. If you like my, my bio style, I can see, I can look if I can do something for you. You, you know what you can do in the meantime, Johnny? You can think about, uh, you know, what kind of colors you like, uh, what what you want in there. Like, uh, do you want certain images or certain text, stuff like that. You start thinking about that, and I'm gonna start thinking about, uh, you know, what 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 you can do in return. I I gotta I can't can't really answer that right now, right off the bat. But I I'm happy to do it for you if you like it. I can even like use my own server space I have to upload the images to, so you don't have to worry about that either. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a plan, Wheat Hunter. <laughs> he has to join he has to join us on uh, on battlefield and he, he lets me bayonet charge kill him a couple of times. <laughs> uh what did you order, Wheat Hunter? So, okay, I'm gonna take away these. And then I'm gonna... Because I'm really getting hungry. So I'm gonna call my girlfriend, who's in the room next to me. Ooh, that's hot. Well, Jamona just came out of the oven. What did you think? Of course it's hot. Ooh, 
delicious. Okay. I'm actually gonna take the regular kitchen knife for this. There you go. So this is how it looks inside. And this particular quiche, if you make it yourself and you cut it and you're like, hmm, it's still a little bit wet on the inside that doesn't seem right but that's because of the mascarpone it makes it a little bit of like a little bit of squishy you know and a little bit of sticky like a brownie or like a cheesecake so don't think it's you did it wrong it's how it's supposed to be me and my girlfriend we're gonna eat this right now i bet she's really hungry so i'm gonna end it guys you start thinking about that thing, uh, Johnny, and we'll get back to each other. Uh, Wheat Hunter is going to eat a beef burger with a sandwich, red onion and spicy sauce and the shawarma roll. Oh my god, Wheat Hunter, you barbaric fool. <laughs> so warm, uh, god damn it. That's a lot of sandwiches. Oh, looks who look who's here right in the end. He always does it. He he doesn't want to know how we make it. He only wants to see the the money shot. <laughs> What's up, Freck Freck? Good morning, sir. I was about to head out, Freck. We're ending it. <laughs> What's up, homie? Oh, the camera moves by itself. <sighs> Sorry, Freck. <laughs> Aww. Can you guys hear me? My mic disconnect again, I think. Not sure. <clears throat> yes, um, I know my girlfriend is really hungry, so I'm going to end it now, guys. I just want to say thank you to everybody who hanged out today. Um, as always, I will download this stream and upload it again to YouTube. So it's always there to watch back for everybody who wants to know how to make this quiche. Thank you, Freck Freck. Um, Johnny, you'll let me know what, what, what you got in mind, what you got in store, what, what ideas you have, like colors, stuff like that, borders, no borders, and I'll let you know uh, what I can do for you. I also want to say thank you to uh, the new followers. Appreciate that, guys. Once again, welcome to the chicken farm. You are officially one of the chickens. Me, my mods, and everybody else in chat declare you chicken right now. Not chicken as that you, in that you're scared, but actual chickens. We're all about the, the chickens over here. Neptune, appreciate you. Zippy, thank you for doing your modding. Uh, who else is here? Wheat Hunter, bon appetit, sir, with your shawarma roll. Uh, <laughs> let's see, who else did I miss? Tiny Nev, of course, appreciate you. E Wizard, I'm gonna check out that uh, Discord thing you sent me. I already joined. I will check out your recipes. I'm curious now. Um, Doctor, oh yeah. Also, thank you for dropping by. I don't know if I'm sorry if I missed anybody. I'm sorry. 
it's just thank you thank you e-wizard um i'm gonna quickly call my girlfriend to see uh she's hungry uh let's cut to the ending screen i got an ending screen you can see all my chicken avatars in that i'm also gonna take a quick look if there's anybody online who we can host uh hold on i gotta give e wish it to follow before i head out oh, i gotta check that out you know uh, oh i already followed e wizard my bad um let's see oh dr oh yeah he was just here now i'm gonna host doc oh yeah guys let's see what is he playing apex legends of course that's his game let's go all right without further ado I'll be back tonight, guys. Battlefield, of course. We're gonna play the booty field with no mercy. And uh, I'll see you there, hopefully. If not, have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, take care, everybody. Be safe. Watch uh, one another. Stuff like that. Peace!